Hello everybody, welcome to a new video here on the Multiplex YouTube channel. Today it's all about fast response. Fast response is an emblink feature. You can always decide if you're on binding mode, if you use fast response or if you don't use it. So a few people asked me where it makes sense to use it. So I decided to make this little workshop for you. Have fun. Okay, you see, so I prepared a little presentation for you, which we go through to show you step by step how fast response works. Independent which MLink transmitter you use, you can always decide when you're on binding mode if you activate or if you deactivate fast response. What effect fast response has, I will show you in the following picture. So if you now have fast response activated or deactivated has a direct influence on your servos. That means it has an influence on the whole flight feeling of your aircraft. To understand how the communication between the Emlink transmitter and the receiver works, we will look at it on a really high level. That means the Emlink transmitter sends data packages to the receiver which the receiver converts into serial signals for the servos. The data packages 1 and 2 are responsible for the first 12 channels. In the data package 3, which you only have if you had deactivated fast response, are the informations for the servo channels 13 to 16. There is also a return channel, which is responsible for your telemetry. Now we will asking yourself, where is the benefit of only having 12 channels? Where this advantage is, I will try to show you on the next slide. To visualize it for you, I draw out a few trains. So what we see? We see blue trains and green trains. One train stands for a whole data information. And like you see, the blue trains are longer than their green trains. That means blue trains have three wagons. Each wagon stands for a data package. That means the three wagons are responsible for a free data package. That means fast response off. We have three data packages and an updating of a server position in cycles of 21 milliseconds. The green train has just two wagons. That means two data packages. It has an updating of the server positions in cycles of just 14 milliseconds. That means the green train is 33% shorter. That means it has a 33% higher transfer speed of the data. So as a result of having fast response activated, you transfer less data packages. The transfer rate is much higher. So it means if you have high performance servos, you will feel that if you fly. And this gives you a more direct feeling. So at the end, a fast summary of fast response. I advise you to always turn fast response on if 12 channels are enough for you. Here you have a lower frame rate of just 14 milliseconds. And with an activated fast response, you also have a higher servo frequency of 72 Hertz. In my opinion, all servos of the last 10 years can handle the 72 Hz, but if you are not sure, you can also look up in the manufacturer's documentation. Just to give you an example, with the high-tech servos, we use servo frequencies from 120 to 333 Hz. So that's it with the Emlink Fast Response Workshop. Now I think you know everything you have to know about fast response. So I really hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the Multiplex YouTube channel or leave a comment. See you next time.